hello good day guys welcome to today's edition of the safe power hardware guide and today we'll be discussing about the passphrase which is on our x1 wallet so we turn on our wallet we'll go to our settings option we we'll see the passphrase section we we'll click on OK so we we'll first of all read what's the passphrase mean so uh, it says you can create and switch between different wallets via passphrase passphrase can be letters numbers or symbols with a maximum of 60 characters passphrase is case sensitive different passphrase will lead to different wallet accounts please keep your passphrase in mind forgetting the phrase will lead to permanent asset loss do not store passphrase together with the mnemonics so this is um, the passphrase is more like an um, advanced option where when you make use of um, your mnemonic phrase to set up um, the account with when you set up the account um, without a passphrase it gives you um, a whole new account and when you set up um, the account with a passphrase it gives you a totally different account so this is a unique feature being um being used by safe power it have been going on for a very long time whereby when you make use of um, a passphrase and your mnemonic code it's uh, your mnemonic phrase it gives you an entirely new wallet address so let's um get it going guys so i click on the safe power app so here i have my software wallet which is the soft 996 and um, i have my hardware wallet here which is the 56 and also go back and show you here this is it which is the 56 7 ed have this here as well which is the 56 7 ed states the hardware wallet so we'll be had um adding the um passphrase to our hardware wallet we have one account on the hardware wallet which doesn't have a passphrase so now we are creating another account on the same um, hardware wallet but this would come with the passphrase like i explained earlier if you use a passphrase and a mnemonic code it gives you an entirely different account and when you use your mnemonic phrase only it gives you another account so now we have an account on our hardware wallet now we would like to create another account under the same hardware wallet but this comes with a passphrase so let's get it going guys i'll go to my settings i'll click on passphrase click on passphrase uh i'll set the passphrase use passphrase so now i'd have to impute my um, hardware wallet pin just do that behind the camera. So now it asks me to enter passphrase. So just for um, just for the instruction purpose, I'll I'll create the passphrase and um, make it visible, so we could see um, how this is being done. So, um, like it said earlier, we could make use of symbols, we could make use of numbers, and we could make use of alphabets. So, um, for instruction purpose, I'll create um, a phrase, uh, a passphrase now, which will be attached to the hardware wallet we are making use of. Um, I'll set the phrase, I'll name it safe i'll say it's safe this is more like a password attached to your hard 
hardware wallet the account attached to your hardware wallet so i'll put safe one so safe one would be my first passphrase it asks me to enter the passphrase again so safe safe one so i've set my passphrase as safe one i'll click on ok so now it's it's asking me what should i what should it name the wallet just like we have here my hardware wallet name as 56 would need to um set a wallet name for this and i would name it um 57 57 this one on the account the main account is 56 so the sub wallet i'm creating with the passphrase i'll name it 57 i'll click on ok confirm to use 57 yes i'll click on ok so now it is going to switch from the native like uh from the main account which is 56 it's going to switch this my x1 wallet to 57 so um it says has switched into 57 wallet you can use it after pairing with the app so i click on ok now i'll have to pair it with my um mobile app you can see we don't have the um we don't have the account yet on my app so i would have to add that now so we'll come here we'll click here we we'll click on add wallet i'll click on hardware wallet search for safe one x1 i click on start connection it's asking for my password so i have to do that behind the camera please so now it has detected my x1 device so i've clicked on it it has um, prompted me on my x1 to confirm pairing for this wallet now i'd have to click on ok so it's asking for my pin i'll do that behind cameras please So I click on OK. It prompted a message. The paired hardware wallet has changed to a new or set mnemonic phrase. Please confirm if this is operated by you personally. If yes, continue pair with device. If no, please do not um, proceed with this operation. So I am the one who initiated it. I would click on continue. Um, this is just a prompt about joining the discord so we can see our, our um, new wallet has been created but this comes with a passphrase this doesn't come with the passphrase it just comes with the mnemonic um, phrase only but this comes with the passphrase that's an entirely new wallet more like a sub wallet so if i'm to um if i'm to like um, import my wallet into a safe power maybe software wallet i just imported the mnemonic phrase without um a passphrase it is going to bring out this account but if i um, imported the mnemonic phrase with a pass um, with a passphrase it's going to bring out this account so what do i mean by this i'll sh i'll show you now just for illustration purpose we just click on hardware um, add wallets i won't be adding the soft um, hardware wallets i'm just trying to show you so i would um show you with the software wallet when you click on software wallet we'll click on mnemonic phrase i'll just put that behind camera please so this is it I'm sorry, software wallets, create new wallets. 
Um, so this is it. When you are creating a wallet and you want to add um, a passphrase, more like I did for the um, 56, uh, 57, I mean, you click on, let me just name this 57, then you click on advance, continue. So this is what it's, it means here. When you choose the um, phrase, the number of phrase you want, you click on um, the passphrase. This is the passphrase and it says, Password is an optional advanced feature for wallet security. Once it is lost, the assets stored under it will be lost as well. So before you set up, you should read and learn more about it. So that's for that. We've set the passphrase and we have our sub wallet, which is generated from the hardware wallet. But the 56 doesn't have a passphrase set and the 57 has a mnemonic and password set to it so that's been done that's been done let's see if we could be success if we could successfully add up um but the thing there is this if you are trying to proceed a transaction from hardware one to um the wallet two under the hardware we should put that at the back of our mind that it is the one set with mnemonic and passphrase that is currently um, active on our wallet for us to be able to use the previous which is this the main wallet we would have to remove the passphrase from this wallet for it to be able to bring back um the previous account so we could let's confirm the addresses on the one we just added um receive so we could see the address ending with 1bc7c asset uh, use program just do that behind camera please so we could see the address go to matic matic polygon please okay receive we could see the address is the same 1bc7c 1bc7c so that's it so for us to be able to make use of our previous wallets would have to remove the current one which has the passphrase for us to be able to assess um for us to be able to access the main wallet so for us to do this because uh try to let me try sending and you see a message prompted by the hardware wallet try sending send paste and let's see if it's gonna go across skip please um let's see so max oops let's make use of polygon then send let's try sending from the main wallet to the sub wallet we just created send um send one matic let's see so let's see what would be the prompt now So you can see it said the app does not match this wallet address please switch and try again so that's the prompt you are going to get when you switch from one account to the other so for us to be able to assess this account back we would need to go back to our settings we want to take off the 57 pw8 57 pw8 which is our sub account which was created with a passphrase would have to go back to settings passphrase set passphrase then would have to say no passphrase i would have to do the password behind the camera so that's it 
it says original wallet name is 56 so we've taken out the previous wallet uh, this this new wallet which is the 57 out of the hardware account and we've gone back to the main account which is the 567ed the 567ed so that will be all for now thank you for watching guys Bye.